Hey, what's going on guys? LogDadZip here, and this is How to Minecraft. And this episode, we explore a little bit of a boat glitch in 1.8 that allows you to make some really interesting parkour courses. And this episode, we make that parkour course, and it's going to be a challenge for the rest of the people on the server. And I also show you how you can make your own little boat parkour course. Uh, really simple to do, so I hope you guys enjoy this episode of How to Minecraft. If you do, make sure you smash the ratings. It's been gone for about a week now because I've been so sick, but... Um, Hope you guys bring it back with a real warm welcome, and without further ado, enjoy the episode. Thanks! Hey, what's going on guys? LogDadZip here, and this is How to Minecraft, and this has been the longest break we've had in between How to Minecraft episodes. For that, I apologize. I have been sick the last week, I've been throwing up my intestines, been in bed, bedridden all day, have not been able to even leave my bed, sneezing up my brains out, you know, the works. So my bad, um, but I'm back now. I'm pretty much all the way better. I, I just couldn't be sick for any longer. I had to get some videos done, I had to get some streams done. So thank you for joining us today. Um, if you missed How to Minecraft and you want to keep seeing How to Minecraft, please let's smash those ratings for the return of How to Minecraft. I know it's been a while, so I want to make sure you guys are still feeling the series, you feel me? So do me a favor, let's let's hit a crazy amount of likes on this video. But either way, today uh, we are going to be doing a little bit of a parkour challenge. And you'll see right here we got some uh, interesting stuff going on. This is a little glitch with boats. And uh, we're going to use it to make ourselves a little parkour course challenge for the rest of the dudes on the server to check out. And you'll see that you can actually use this to stand up. But Oh, well, what the heck? Oh yeah, see that that was that was interesting. I I managed to break the boat. <laughs> Normally I can't break the boat, but you'll see that it's a little glitch that uh, we found. Well, I, sh I don't say I found, uh, but I believe Red Knobster uh, found recently. And what I wanted to do is show you over here uh, what we've made is a little bit of a cluster bomb of boats. And uh, upon standing on these, you can actually stand on them and you can use it as a, a real interesting parkour so we're going to be making a little bit of a parkour course for the rest of the dudes on the server to make today and uh i'm not exactly sure why it works but it just involves having one boat and it, it, it kind of sinks into the different blocks here and then you place another boat underneath it and it kind of lengthens and makes it consistent the amount it travels each time so uh that's why i have two boats instead of one although for whatever reason i managed to to break the boat that time. I've, I've never been able to break the boat before. You'll see I've got uh, one of the boats here. If I, if I grab the other one. Now where are you at? You see, now it's, now it's glitching like a real weird guy right there. That's crazy. You see what I mean? Like, now it's not breaking. Now I can't break it. So I don't know why. That, it's probably because I broke it like right here. Watch, let me see. Yeah, see, you can, you can break it right there. But let me show you exactly how you do it so you're aware. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go into it from there. We're probably going to build it near spawn. That'd uh, make more sense. So you'll see, we place the boat down here. And it slowly, you know, it's pushing to the wall. And then it starts to sink through. It starts to just sink through the wall. Now, occasionally, the boat will be finicky. And it won't go all the way the entire time. And that's why we put the second boat in there. Because every time I put the second boat in there, it has stayed consistent with the amount of travels. You'll see, one gets stuck, and one is constantly making sure that the other boat reaches that full distance. And the cool thing about it is, you can you can actually walk on it, even when it's jumping back super fast. If you time it right, you can actually jump on it on its way back too, see? And you can't break it, you can't even move it, and it'll go right through you, and you can't ride it. I'm trying to right click it right now, can't do any of that. So it's a weird gr graphical glitch, nice squeak. But it still works for like standing on. So, as I said, what we're going to be working on is a little parkour course for it. And uh, it's, it's real simple enough. All you need is the fence posts, some water, and boats. And I'm going to make the, uh, the parkour course out of wood as well. So we're going to go ahead and head through Choco. Choco's crossroads, he actually made, our, he made a little um, railway system in the nether that has access to, like, every single person's house in the nether. And that's actually the the fastest slash safest way to get back to uh, main spawn area. Get back, man. Punk. I swear. He just loves to just chill out there and cause problems for me. Now, I have the coordinates here. Uh, I saved them somewhere. I gotta make sure... It's at... It's at... 
zero, minus 1,000 and zero. And Choco set up this crazy portal that leads to a little system that he calls Crossroads. And I hoped to goodness gracious that I actually left my, um, my minecart there because if not, you might have to hook it through the nether. But I actually wanted to show it off anyways. It's a big, yeah, see, you see it over there? <coughs> so big props to Choco for building this behemoth. It's, uh, it's wild. I did, I'd never seen anything like that before. So hopefully, please, cart, cart, cart. Oh, the cart's not there. But see, it's this crazy portal that literally takes us everywhere. It goes through the entirety of How to Minecraft. But it's okay. It won't take too much time to get back to the area. Um, I don't believe. Uh, we're going to have to rush all the way there, though. Yeah, I should have brought a mine cart. But you see, you can actually make out the area right over there already. This takes us... This takes us pretty close. Actually, we want to be closer there anyway. So this takes us to alleys and little lizard spots, huh? Okay. I mess with it. Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. This is exactly where we wanted to be. Nice little view we got over here. Alright, so... <coughs> we gotta... Let's see if we can figure out a place we want to put this parkour course. I think, I think we'd be wise to put it over the water. There's Mitch's spot. You think we should build it over here? Stream? That'd be a good spot. Um, I'm going to consult with Stream. And uh, when we have done that, I will resume on YouTube. So, uh, be back. Alright guys, we're back. And uh, done a little bit of progress on the parkour challenge uh, boat area so far. You can see we are kind of near Alley and um, the lizard spot. <laughs> this is actually the portal we went through. So, we, we stuck with our initial plan of doing it over the swamp. Uh, everyone thought that was a decent, well, most people thought it was a decent idea. And we've begun doing these steps. So this first step is, obviously, you got to travel along the boat like this and then make a quick dash to hit this spot. And then that's got another boat going over that way. This is a little area I put underneath so that I can test and without having to fall. But you can see you have to jump to this little portion. It's kind of a quick jump. You got to know when to jump. And then what we've got over here is another one going this way. I'm thinking... To have once you're like right here, there's gonna be another boat going this direction that you gotta jump to, and you gotta jump back and forth to each one and try and time it properly. Um, so hoping that we can make that work again. Not exactly sure if there's a way to save the location of the boats because as I said, watch, I'll I'll disconnect and see see where the boat is right now. It's gonna be hard to tell because um, obviously the, the server still runs, but look, you'll notice. You'll notice that when I disconnect, it the the locations will sometimes reset. So it might be hard to do coordinated boat jumps, given that fact, which is kind of another reason I wanted to do this in spawn chunks. I'm not sure if we're in spawn chunks. I think we're a little far to be in spawn chunks, but I don't I don't know for sure. But either way, if if nice clouds. Either way, if it doesn't work. Um, We'll do further testing and we'll have to accommodate. But just want to give you an update on how the obstacle course is coming so far. Just grab some dirt so that we can make tree farms up in the sky so I don't have to keep traveling uh, back and forth down to the ground. So uh, we'll update you again when things are looking a little bit better. Interesting glitch. Well, not glitch, but just you think about it. If you, um, if you put a, uh, if you break, if you make a, a boat out of spruce wood and then break the boat, you get normal wood back. <gasps> Glitching the system. Oh man, you have to jump to that one. You got to jump to that one. Oh Yeah, oh man. Yeah, that'll be good. So let's let's do a quick run of What we just have so far just to see um, And we'll uh, We'll safen it up a little bit, huh? So here's how they're supposed to do it, right? So you got oh look at me I'm uh, whoever. I'm <laughs> I'm whoever. So you gotta and then jump there, and you gotta jump, and then you gotta jump to that one. Oh baby, oh baby. Now pretend this most of this wood won't be here. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I mean though. That's what I mean. We gotta figure out how to time this because right now, oh okay, I can kind of. And see, that's what we gotta. That's how it's gotta be. All right, so we're back at Crossroads. We just went to my house to grab some iron and some tools in case I need to get some stuff. I wanted to show you properly 
um, crossroads. And for whatever reason, that appears to be missing a way to power. But that's okay, because we just go right on down like this. So this is Crossroads. And this is a little network uh, in the nether that Choco made. It's really, it's crazy. It takes you to anywhere in the uh, in the world in terms of where portals have been set up to everyone's house. And there's a certain way that you can kind of navigate to each spot. And obviously we need to head back to Alley A and Little Lizard's portal. So it'll take us to a little, um, it'll take us to a little area here. Uh, now, Cho I already talked to Shogo. He said I could use it and that he didn't mind. So you can see over here we've got different options for areas you want to go. Um, so here we have um, Pete, which is 1, 2, which is Preston, 3, which is Alley A and the Twins. 4 is me. Currently it's set to 4. So 5. Come on now. Gotta, oh, I got to get a little closer. 5, 6, 7, 8. So we need to go to 1, 2, 3. So that takes us to 3. Then see how it's the left sign? That means the left sign, you, it's got to be switched to the right here. And then upon pressing, I believe, this button, it'll take us right to that portal. So Choco is a crazy fiend with, oh. Well, uh, that saved us like no time. But <laughs> at least I got to show you. So pretty cool. So uh, we are back here. And I'll show you again a little slight update with... Um, the boats and s oh my gosh I thought it all disappeared for a second it's just on the other side so over here is what we have so far and now that I like disappeared from the area we can kinda see how no one being in the chunks affects how the boats work you can see the boats are still working uh, in this respect so you see they all they all kinda switch to the same timing which means you kinda gotta you gotta be careful with how you do it. So you gotta jump from here and then quickly jump to that other guy very quickly and we gotta figure out what we wanna do with the rest of it. But this is what we've got so far. It's a real ugly mess that we're gonna clean up once the uh, once it's all done. But until that point, um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep on working uh, on for, for the stream. So uh, if you wanna watch me doing this work, you're gonna have to do it during the streams otherwise. Oh, and if you're wondering about what's going on in the corner, I've got a faulty RAM stick. My computer keeps crashing. I've already crashed twice during this and I haven't crashed anymore since then, knock on wood. So hopefully I don't crash more, but uh, yeah, back to it. And when you see more progress, or we'll be back when you see more progress, when, when I make more progress, whatever. All right, guys, it's that time for another update. So far, things are looking real good. In fact, I'm finna try, I'm finna try around right now. I think I could do it if I, uh, if, I, if I really put my mind to it. So here's what we got so far. We got this first jump right here, right there. Ooh, now this part, this part, I have not, I don't know. I don't know if I should do this part. I don't know about this part. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Let's do it. Oh, I did it. Oh my gosh. Now this part is the crazy part. We figured out a way it climbs. We're making it climb and we're making it one block ahead as well. So... This part's going to be difficult because you're not going to be able to see exactly where you're going, but you're going to have to be jumping up and to the right at the same time. Tell me that's some crazy stuff right there. So we're going to do a few more, and then I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do to finish off the challenge course. It doesn't feel like it's that long right now, and I'm not exactly sure how long I'm going to make it, but we're just going to keep working on it until I feel like it's completed, and when it's completed, it's uh, it'll be completed. Sounds good? Okay. All right, guys, we're back. A uh, little more progress has been made. So let me just run you through. As you can see, we still got this initial. Oh, what the heck? Just tr It just tricked me? Did you see that? Oh, my gosh. So let's try this again. Right there. And then you jump to that spot. Then you got to quickly make your way. I'm not going to do that in case of fall because I'm doing this to show it off, not to try it just yet. I already beat this part. You jump to that one, jump to that one. Then you got to jump in that quick little corner there. Climb up this area as carefully as you can. You gotta physically climb up steps there. Oh, the sun! Yeah. So you gotta you gotta move right and up at the same time. Then quickly sprint to this part. Once you're here, you gotta jump to this boat and then ride it. Sprint last minute to this part that I have right there. And then that's as far as we've gotten so far. Um, just giving you periodic updates, uh, like I said I would. And uh, back to work. All right, guys, 
we are basically complete. There's a few more things I need to cover up, like some of the uh, the boat locations, but we've pretty much roofed off the entirety of the little boat parkour obstacle course. We're going to give it a run. Now, <laughs> I've tested each part individually to make sure that it is working, but uh, this might be difficult. Uh, okay, so, so far so good. I have not... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, this part's going to suck, I got a feeling. Yeah. Yeah, that part's going to be a little hard. But you can see, it actually looks pretty dope um, from the uh, from the bottom here. I'm going to just cut to when I'm back at the top, I think. So <laughs> Let's see if I can pull this guy off right here. Yeah! Okay. Oh, shoot. Now we gotta get... We gotta do this part again. Are you... <laughs> Did I just do that? That looks so cool going like that all at once. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, my gosh! I don't know what happened there. Okay, so we gotta do this somehow. Oh! Please! Oh, man! Take three on this one. Take three on this one. Are you <sighs> Yes, okay. So we cheated a little bit. Nobody say anything. No one say anything. Now this part, I don't know about, to be honest. Alright guys, so after a lot of trial and error, um, well I should say a lot of trial and nothing but error, uh, I'm not sure if this part is doable. So we made a floor here so that when I fail it over and over again like I know I'm going to, I'll know if it is actually possible or not. And so far, <laughs> I'm not sure. I really don't know. I think it's some of these. I think if we knock off some of these corners, I think, I think, I think I've been knocking those corners, and that's kind of what's been killing me. So maybe, maybe that'll make it easy. Just doing that, like we just did. I think that, I think that makes a world of difference, to be honest. Yeah, just like that. But turns out that this roof needs to uh, come out because you need to be able to jump right there. See, it is difficult though, and that's exactly what I want. I want this to be hard. You see? So you can do it. You can do it. Um, we're just gonna continue. <laughs> the rest here and try and do the rest from here Because uh, I I wanted to and I thought that oh, okay, okay, that part's gonna be hard too. Maybe we should consider Making that just a little easier. Maybe yeah, all right guys, so uh, turns out the, the the place needed just a little bit more work still there's a couple areas where the roof wasn't high enough Had to double check some things to make sure they were doable, but we're gonna give it one full run through and uh, see what we're made of here. Alright, so first one, not so bad. Second one, money. Now this is where it gets a little scary. Ooh, Mama Sita did it! Okay. Oh, just short. Dang it. Okay, so we're gonna skip to um, that part again. So let's try and do this proper, huh? Oh, yes! Okay, so we made it into that one. And then this is the final jump. The final jump. It's really not even that long when you think about it. Oh, man. Okay. So this is going to be difficult. I already got a feeling. Ugh! Yo, I did it! Ah! I can't believe I did that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that means that the parkour... Other than the exit is 100% doable, which is great. That was a big concern of mine. <laughs> it's doable. And, um, okay. Okay. So, um, I guess I'm going to uh, go ahead and finish up. You know, most of it's roofed, as I said, but I got to work on that exit. And according to the straw poll that we did earlier, it looks like, um, most people were saying best out of 10 attempts, it won by 2% versus fastest time to complete 5. However, 
I legitimately think that um, a lot of the guys won't get that many completions in 10 attempts. So we're just going to do best out of 15 attempts as the challenge. And uh, I'm going to set up a little flyer over at the uh, over at base or at the, the spawn area so that everyone knows, hey, there's a freaking challenge. You should definitely go do it. And uh, once I've done that, you will see it on the video. So we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. We're at spawn. Uh, we built the little pavilion. The boots are cool. Um, I'm not going to say anything about the house, and I encourage you to not do so either. You know, I was a little resource challenged. I only had what I had on me, so don't hate. But this is the pavilion in order for you to enter the parkour challenge, which is this. Greetings, my fine chaps. I hereby invite ye to a cool parkour arena. It's off near Ali A and Little Lizard's houses. Over the swamp lies the hardest parkour this land has seen, probably. It uses special glitches to bring you a parkour like you've never seen before. Whoever completes it the most times out of 15 attempts will get a cool item. Yeah, yeah. So go do it. Good luck and don't fall. Log on zip. Entry fee, 32 feathers, and any pair of boots, which I don't think is that much to ask. If anything, it's just kind of because like parkour boots, and then, and then, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have anything from there. But this is the, this is the pavilion that I've made, and if anyone doesn't like it, I don't care. Too freaking bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> but that is, that's the gist of it. I'm gonna add a sign over to the parkour to signify that, hey, this is my parkour and I made this and good luck and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and just do that off cam because what I'm going to do right now is end the episode for the ones that are watching on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed my return to How to Minecraft. I know it's a late upload. I know it's a late upload. I actually started this video about five hours ago and by the time it goes up, it'll probably be like seven hours since I started it. Um, but, you know, I'm back. I'm still a little sick. And um, I'll be doing what I can to make sure uploads keep coming. So I would seriously appreciate it if you guys dropped a like for How to Minecraft. Let me know you still want to see the series uh, coming very often because I know it's been about a week since the last one. And of course, uh, if you uh, if you want to catch the Antics live, you're going to have to do it over at twitch.tv slash logdeadzip where up until recently, I was streaming almost every single day. So we'd love to have you there. And uh, without further ado, we will have to catch you for the next episode. Thanks.